time for our house call in this morning. We have Dr. David Schwartz with Triad Health Center with us to talk about chronic fatigue syndrome. Doctor, good morning. Hey, good morning, Brad. I think people have heard of this, but the how do you, how do you tell if you have chronic fatigue syndrome or if maybe you're just overworked and feeling tired? Yeah, I would say chronic fatigue syndrome is a uh, little known syndrome, but is uh, on the rise. The primary symptom is definitely significant fatigue, and that's the key word, significant fatigue that has lasted more than six months. So this is much more than like a few nights of bad sleep or feeling sluggish from not eating well. So like the simplest tasks like vacuuming or maybe doing a short workout or even like fixing a meal or taking a shower, what happens afterwards is you have extreme fatigue and uh, loss of energy. I mean, as you said, significant. So what other than being tired all the time, what are some of the, the symptoms for CFS? Um, some other symptoms, uh, you have sleep problems, uh, maybe some brain fog or maybe some short-term memory loss. I think a key one is if you stand up really quickly and you get dizzy, that's a key indicator of adrenal issues. Uh, possibly like an infection that you can't seem to get rid of or just general muscle and uh, joint pain. So there's a lot that goes into it. Now next question is probably difficult, but what are the causes or is there a single cause for for chronic fatigue syndrome? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. There is actually no known, or like there's no one cause of CFS. However, um, you know, as a functional medicine practitioner, what we dive into is root causes. So there are several root causes that you can look at such as a bacterial infection, Lyme disease, um, maybe you've heard of a leaky gut or digestive issues. And I would say a key one that I find for a lot of patients is that your lack of energy is coming from what's called a mitochondrial dysfunction, and that's what produces all the energy in your body. Yeah, a lot of different directions, as you said, to look in if you're looking for a cause for this. Who's, who's most at risk? Where are you most likely to see this pop up? Well, women are twice as likely to develop CFS than males. Um, I'd say, however, anyone who's experiencing significant fatigue and especially maybe feels burned out, you know, for more than the past six months is at high at risk, um, especially uh, different cofactors like mental health stress, such as depression, anxiety, maybe you've had a chronic illness or infection, or um, you've got to look back at family history, too. So uh, you, you put all that together. If somebody comes to you and, and talks about these symptoms and things like that, how do you diagnose it? How do you treat it? Where do, where yeah. do they go from there? Well, we know there's no one cause, but there are several tests you can do. I mean, there's blood work, food allergy, hormone testing. Um, on our website, we have a free chronic fatigue quiz that you can take, just 10 simple questions to see if maybe that's something that you're dealing with. Um, as I tell my patients, you know, healing is like peeling back an onion. You know, there are layers to it. Um, but start simple by eating healthy, uh, reduce your sugar, maybe eat fr more fruits and vegetables. A big one, cut out soda and reduce caffeine. Uh, be more active and just have a positive mindset. I think that'd be an incredible start for anybody with chronic fatigue and really all of us I think would benefit from that. What kind of improvement, if you've, if you've dealt with people in the past, what kind of improvement have you seen if they kind of follow that advice and, and, and try to make the change? So it's going to be a little bit slow and steady. It's not going to be an overnight win, but you're going to have a little bit more energy. And what I like to do is start with diet first. I think diet's key, and as we fix the gut and we start to get people feeling better and reduce their symptoms, then we can increase the activity. But that's the key indicator. You're going to notice that you can do things that you couldn't before and not have that extreme fatigue after. Dr. Schwartz, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for having me on. Well, if you need more information about chronic fatigue syndrome or if you want to take a quiz about CFS, this is a way that you can kind of get some information. Go to triadhealthcenter.com. Once again, triadhealthcenter.com and just click on quizzes.